Hello, everybody. Today, now to make a review for a game, story, you have to first consider what you're reviewing, a game. Literature. Weeping Doll was died. less of a game and more of a cheap carnival ride. It was playable, but I'll save the rest of my tickets for a different one. The story, if you can call it that, plays out through a series of audio triggers that happen each time you click on the next object they want you to click on. And you're gonna know what to click on. There was only one unlocked door, only one clickable object, and for a puzzler, the game was lacking in leads. The movement is done by leading a ghost around and transporting, then using the trigger buttons to move the camera jerk left or right. The other triggers are left or right hands, like it even matters. You only ever use one thing to open the next one puzzle right next to you, except for one which I saw as unnecessary, but I guess it was vital since it was in the selling screenshot. The ending, if you can call it that, which only out of respect for myself I won't spoil, didn't even feel like an ending. It was just over. I bought, downloaded, beat, recorded, uploaded, and re-downloaded the entire game on my lunch break. For a game on my phone, no problem, but for $10 on my home console, come on Oasis Games, give me a break. There is absolutely no replayability. The game works, I guess. I mean, it's playable, but you're not going to have fun when you're doing it, and at the end of the day, that's all you really want. I'm sorry Oasis Games, but players, I would not purchase this title. Spend your money on something else that you can at least enjoy playing. There are plenty of VR experience out there, and some of them even cost a little less than this one. Although, at the end of the day, I can't tell you what to do with your money. I just regret spending mine on this. For all things PSVR and PS4, please stick with Frank.